So the Yankees beat big baby Josh Naylor and the Cleveland Guardians. The series is now tied 2-2. Two to two. And we're headed back to the Bronx. We will see you there, Miles Straw. We will see you there, Josh Naylor, who looks like he's on crack cocaine. Hey, he sure acts like it. We will see them there. Garrico, what can you say about him? Sure, I'll admit, I bashed uh, Cole in the past, as a lot of Yankees fans have done. But all of that is out the window now, as Garrett Cole has shown up. The reason why you gave him all that money, you love to see it. Cole Revenge Tour. Hope it continues. And the way he's pitching, I guarantee it does. So my previous video, before I discuss that, I had one comment say, you haven't uploaded in two weeks. Uh, the playoffs have been going on for a while now. So I don't know if people understand. NYY News is nyynews.com. NYY News is nyy.news. It's active 24-7. So if you don't see constant uploads on YouTube, it's because we're not really a YouTube channel we are a whole bunch of other platforms. And speaking upon that, YouTube is not very friendly to MLB content creators. I can name a few on here that are Yankees creators, like that channel, The Shift, who creates awesome Yankees content. And that guy should have about 20k subs by now. Same could be said about Pete. He should have about 40k subs by now. So what I'm trying to say here is, that I already know how the YouTube algorithm works and writing articles, etc. do better in search engine optimization. But I do enjoy creating YouTube content. And when I do, I try to create the highest quality as possible. Hey, maybe you guys should complain at uh, Google. Say, look, you're pushing a whole bunch of st other stupid genres like uh, K-pop, um, Bigfoot, pimple popping videos maybe you guys should promote and help these awesome creative MLB content creators and give them a boost in the algorithm which they certainly can even uh, Major League Baseball players have a hard time they have trouble gaining an audience because MLB for whatever reason or content creators have a hard time gaining views and subscribers what I'm trying to say here is this genre is the hardest genre to get subscribers. So if you're listening and you haven't subbed to me, other content creators, please subscribe to those channels. So I bored you enough with that rant, but it had to be said. So let's talk about that previous video I uploaded, ranting about I can't field. Look at that. The Yankees bench him. They win the game. I tweeted it out. Wow, I have so much confidence in the Yankees now that at least Oswaldo Cabrera is playing shortstop. And he played a solid shortstop. The same could be said about moving Judge in the lineup as well. The Yankees didn't win that game, but at least he homered. With somebody on base. You see, if the Yankees continue to do and make common sense moves, it should be an easy, an easy road to the ALCS. Where, of course, we will be facing the Houston Trash Trolls. Who, I've said this a million times this season, that they're even better now than when they cheated. But who knows, they're in Houston. Isn't that where uh, NASA's located? What kind of uh, invention did they come up with now? Maybe they're still cheating, I don't know. But this Houston Astros team is certainly better than the uh, Houston Astros of the past that have been caught cheating. So that's a little bit scary. Now, let me not get a little too far ahead of myself as the Yankees still have to win game five. Jamison Tyon is taking the ball. 
We have Nestor Cortez out there if he's needed. Even Domingo Herman. I'm not too worried about the Yankees' chances. We're at home. Josh Naylor lighted a fire into the Yankees' clubhouse. Going around the bases, showboating. I think the Yankees are going to show up offensively. I don't know about the pitching, but I do know for a fact they will show up offensively. And as for I can't field, Aaron Boone already confirmed that he's going to start Oswaldo Cabrera yet again. IKF cannot, in my opinion, see the starting lineup ever again in the Yankees postseason. Just make him a utility infielder and keep him on the bench. As for Cleveland, they have uh, Bieber uh, coming off uh, the bullpen if needed. So it might get, it might go down to the wire. Who knows? But we might not even have a game on Monday as rain is in the forecast. So that means Bieber would be ready to go as a starter on Tuesday. Wrapping this up, Garrett Cole showed up. Obviously, he has to show up. He's the ace of the New York Yankees making all that money. I'm proud of him. Two games already in the playoffs, he has shown up. Harrison Bader, New York's very own with three home runs already. Dude is a beast. Also plays great defense. Uh, in my opinion, one of the greatest center fielders I have ever seen playing defense. And I've been watching baseball for quite some time now. Phenomenal trade by the New York Yankees. We all questioned it, but hey, this guy has personality. He's a firecracker, plays great defense, and he's just raking offensively. Yeah, timely home runs as well. As Waldo Cabrera again has been great. I could see Aaron Judge coming alive. He hit that two run home run the other game. John Carlos Stanton, I see him coming alive. Glaber Torres has been great as well. Also, uh, sometimes offensively and just great defensively. I've seen some great defensive plays by him. Josh Donaldson, obviously, always going to be great with the glove. Struggling offensively. Remember, all of these wild card teams have been playing nonstop baseball. So that's why the Phillies have advanced. This is why the Padres have advanced. These are why top seeds were knocked down early. And the only two top seeds remaining are the Yankees and Houston. As the Yankees have had a little bit more to, let's say, get accustomed to playing baseball again. But I can see them catching fire and running on all cylinders. So with that being said, again, this is Garrett Cole. We're in Cole's world. It's because of him we're still in this series. Let's win this series and move on to the ALCS. Again, please do not ever start IKF ever again. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And I will remind you again, if you don't see me on YouTube, just type in mlynews.com. Type in mly.news. Visit my Twitter. If you don't see me on here, I'm busy with other platforms. So like always, this has been Felix from mlynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time. Before it hits the